Hi everybody, this is Tracy, co-owner of Snazzy Moon Custom Crafts and Signs. I've had a few people ask me on Facebook if I could make a video on um, how to use a mock-up for their 20 ounce skinny tumblers. So, this is my first video. I'm going to make mistakes, so bear with me. I'm going to attempt to show you how to use a mock-up design from start to finish. I know a lot of people know how to do this, so if it seems too boring for you, I apologize. But there are those that don't know how to do this. So I'm going to start from the beginning and go all the way to the end. So the first thing you're going to want to do is actually find a 20 ounce tumbler mock-up. Now, I purchased mine on Etsy, and the one that I like to use was this one right here. It's a 20 ounce tumbler mock-up PSD and JPG by uh, Dana Mox. I've purchased several of them and this one here seemed like it was the easiest one for me to use. So if you decide to purchase this you will receive a um, download file after you purchase it. Now once you receive those download files, it'll look something like this. You're going to get four download files. So what you will need to do once you get this screen right here is actually download the files. Click on that one right there. Select a folder you want to download it to. So I'm going to click on my downloads right click click new folder and call it i think i'm going to call it rename it as mockup okay 20 ounce okay so then you'll uh double click on that and then click save all right, so that first one just downloaded to that folder you selected. Click on the second download link. You're going to go back to downloads, your folder, and just click save. Click on your third download link. Same place again, download, lock up, save. And lastly, your last download link right there and save okay so now we've downloaded all the files we can get out of etsy okay so now let's go to the folder that you just downloaded your files to mine was under downloads mock up 20 ounce okay so you should have four files you just downloaded one is the instructions one is a bonus mock up one is a JPG file, and then the other one was a PSD file. Now, I have Affinity Designer, which I like to use. You can use Photoshop. Uh, you can use the design software of your choice, but for me, I like to use Affinity because it's pretty compatible with PSD files. And I've already got mine set up, so when I get a PSD file, it actually Affinity Designer will open it for me. So what you do is click on your PSD file and it will open. It's a little slow. Okay, so there's my mock-up tumbler. I'm going to make this a little bit larger so we can see what we're doing here. Now, it's a PSD file. You're going to have layers, okay? You're going to have your right tumbler, your middle tumbler, and your left tumbler, and then the background. Okay. So what we gonna what we need to do is take our tumbler image, the image you're going to place on your tumbler, and we're going to put it in these mock-up tumblers. So for mine, I click on this place image tool, and the image I'm going to use is the zippered eagle okay and i go to the very top left corner and i drag it 
down to the bottom right, kind of like you're even with your tumblers. Just a little bit bigger spine. Okay, so there's the image I just placed. So if I move it to the very top, you can see that's the image. That's my tumbler image, okay? So I want, you're going to use the same image for all three tumblers. So the easiest thing to do right now is click on this image, left click on it, then right click and copy, then right click again, paste, then right click again, paste. Okay, so now I have three of these images, exactly the same. Okay, so first we're going to take one of the images and place it on the right tumbler. Just like that. We'll take the second image, place it on the middle tumbler. Just like that. I'm going to take the third image and place it on the left tumbler. Just like that. So now you have your images on your tumblers. And this is what it's going to look like, obviously, all the way around the tumbler. Once you have that, you're going to export that image. Let's click on File, Export. Now you can export as a PNG or a JPG. A JPG is just a smaller, see this file size is 2.17. PNG is a higher quality. It's 3.54. When you're uploading files, some programs do not like large files, so you might have to use a JPG. I always export it as a PNG. I've already got this done once, so just save it. I've saved up mine as Zippered Eagle. Click save and obviously it's going to export that. And now I'm done. I can close this out. I don't want to save it. Then I go to my folder and downloads mock-up. Actually, I, mine's right here. And <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and here's the folder I just created, or the file I mean. And then you can take and place this in your Facebook, your Etsy, or wherever you're trying to show a, a picture of your design. And that's all there is to it. Hopefully this video will help you. And I will try to make more videos. I'm still trying to learn how to use this recording software. So uh, it might take me a few tries to get it right. But uh, please leave uh, your comments and I will try to answer them. Thank you.